Last year on NBA 2K23, I posted a 6'9 overpowered Paul George build, and you guys went absolutely insane, giving me 109k views and 3k likes, and also this beautiful comment right here. So if you guys are looking for an overpowered Paul George type build in NBA 2K24, this is the perfect video for you. So without further ado, go ahead, smash that like button, and subscribe to the channel if you're new, and let's go ahead and get right into it. Yo man, what is good with y'all? It's your boy Dom here today and once again we are back with another build video and like I said in the intro, this was a well requested video on NBA 2K23 and now you guys are even requested in 2K24 so I felt like it was the perfect time to show you guys this overpowered Paul George build now in NBA 2K24. So as you guys can see right here, we are on Paul George's NBA template and you look at this build right here, it gives a description, gifted wing can play multiple roles on the offense or defense, elite perimeter defender who can score at a high clip from any level. And when looking at this build, in my opinion, this is probably one of the best, if not the best, NBA template builds on this game. But it is a few flaws about this build, and it's also like a few bad thresholds that you almost unlock, literally being like one stat away or something like that. So I felt like I had to change it on my Paul George version. So make sure when watching this video, you guys watch all the way through so you can understand exactly how I put stats where and why I put them there. And also watch all the way through just because of the fact I will show you guys multiple ways to make this build. Like if you want less steel but more of this you want more of this and less of that you know what i'm saying so make sure you guys just watch all the way through so you can fully understand this build so first off when it comes to making this build i have the name at paul george of course we're going to go right handed in there for the jersey number take this down to number 13 for pg 13 and then when it comes to the position for this build you can put him at the shooting guard the small forward even at the point guard if you want to play this but at the point but i mean i'm putting him at the small forward just because of the fact it is paul george and then for the height for the height on this one we are going six seven i know you guys may say paul george is six say he's this he's that i think six seven is the best way to finesse this build and really be able to be the best in every category with this height so i chose to go six seven i know in 2k23 he was six nine but you guys know six nines are roughly pats this year and you cannot do everything that you was in 23 so i feel like six seven was the best height to go and then for the weight i chose to take this build to 206 pounds and then for the wingspan of course just like 2k23 we are maxing out this wingspan because this is a pretty much iso lockdown build you want to be able to have the max wingspan possible so therefore keeping little guards and stuff like that in front of you so these are the physicals that we are going for for this build now when it comes to the stats on this build the first thing we will be starting off with is his physical so this build unlocks an 80 speed an 80 acceleration also a 74 strength and then you also get a 78 vertical to unlock the contact dunks and then of course stamina i took this to a 95 and this is what we do on the physicals of course this is a lockdown build you want to have a high enough speed to keep up with guards and stuff like that also like i said this is an iso lock as well so you want to have good acceleration so you can't speed boost and also do all the other moves that you need 80 acceleration unlocks those animations and stuff like that 74 strength once again we are a lockdown build we want to have enough strength to bump ball handlers and and also just having strength in general on this build being a finisher being a slasher and stuff like that having high strength will definitely help us out and then vertical like i said 78 to unlock the contact dunks and then a 95 stamina which is solid because we will unlock handles for days on this build now the first thing that we will start off with in this video is the finishing so for the finishing drive a dunk you want to take this to an 89 to unlock all the contact dunks that you need this build doesn't get the elites once again and i know the build on 2k23 was able to get the elite contact dunks but on this game bro it is super tough to give a build Elite contact dunks, great dribble moves, great shooting, and then great defense. It's extremely tough, so I have to just settle for the pro contact dunks, which is definitely still a positive to this build because you get good dunk packages in general, plus you also have the contact dunks to rely on. So we get an 89 driver dunk, meaning we get silver posterizer, silver slithery, and then for his driving lip, you want to take this to a 70. Once again, it's not the highest stat. But I don't have to keep saying it, bro. This builder is ex extremely strict. So making these builds like this and being this diverse is going to be tough. But a 70 driving layup is definitely decent. For his close shot, leave this at a 50 and then take his uh, standard dunk up to 1 to a 35. And this is the finishing category for this build. We get gold aerial wizard, gold bunny, gold pro touch, silver scooper, silver slithery, giant slayer, posterizer, uh, bronze fearless finisher. We're good in the finishing category, but like we are definitely able to finish at a high level. But now we're going to move down to the shooting. Max is 3 point out of the 79 and then take his mid range to a 72 so you can't unlock this mini magician on silver and you guys see we get good decent shooting bats on this build but the thing about my build on 2k23 i'm sorry i keep just having a nostalgia about it but the thing is my build on 2k23 was able to get hall of fame mini magician while also getting all of these crazy bads it's crazy three point stuff like that but once again those days are going we're now in the present day of 2k24 
we're not seeing that no more, bro. So right now, we get a 79 three-pointer. Definitely good enough to steal Sparker from three. Then also a 72 mid-range, like I said, unlocking that silver mini magician. We also do get silver open look, silver guard up, silver spot finder, space creator, green machine. Like, we're not just a slouch when it comes to the shoot. And also even silver blinders. So we're definitely good in that category. And for his free throw, take this to a 77. So we can't get that bronze three points at 71. But the rest of the points was just allocated because we couldn't put him nowhere else. So a 77 free throw. And then moving down to the playmaking, take this ball handle to an 80 to unlock some great six and also that gold ankle breaker silver unpluckable silver handles for days and then for a spiel ball take this to a 75 to unlock some of the best dribble styles in the game like lebron magic johnson stuff like that and then also get silver blow by silver hyperdrive and also silver uh, triple strike but if you want you can just take this up too and get gold triple strike but it was kind of tough getting those stats so i just left that at 75 and then for his pass actually as well just like last year we will be having a 75 pass actually on this build and low-key now that i think about it the playmaker category is exactly the same as my playmaking category on my 2k23 version it's just the fact that the badges are different now so you know what i'm saying we do get a little lower tier badges but it's still just a solid build when it comes to being able to iso and playmaking stuff like that but of course for the defense this will be a two-way build like by all means bro like this build gets clamps and when i say clamps this build gets clamps first thing for the uh defense setting we are going with 40 interior defense of course it's not the highest but once again, we just had to sacrifice on this build because you guys see how well-rounded we are in literally every single category. So for his interior, take this to a 40. Perimeter defense, take this to a 94. And we get Hall of Fame Challenger, Hall of Fame Ankle Braces, Gold Clamps, Gold 94 Feet, Gold Fast Feet. Like literally all of these perimeter defending badges we get on either Gold or Hall of Fame. And then for a steal, take this to an 85. And you want to finish it out with this build with the defense rebound going to a 60 to just where we can unlock that bronze rebound chaser. And we are now at a 99 over. Overall. So like I said, in comparison with my build from 2K23, you guys will see there's a lot of major differences, but the one key area that this build is better than is the defense, bro. Like now we have silver glove, silver interceptor, but we also are able to get a high enough defense to where we get gold clamps now, gold 94 feet, Hall of Fame challenger, and still getting better physicals as the one from 2K23. So this is definitely a valid build. And then once you finish it out, you do get a actual, a solid name, bro. I don't think you really hear this name this much on 2K24. We get the comparisons of of Karan Butler, Bojan Bogdanovic, and RJ Barrett. And the name that you get for this build is a two-way inside-out threat. You guys may be a little tired from that inside-out name from 2K23 and stuff like that. But the two-way inside-out threat name it kind of got a little ring to it, bro. You feel me? So, yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video and feel like it helped you out when deciding to make an ISO lockdown type build like Paul George and NBA 2K24, go ahead and make sure to smash the like button and also subscribe to the channel as we are on the way to 6,000 subscribers, bro. And feel free to join the membership and get exclusive membership badges and emotes next to your name. And it's your boy Dom, and I'll catch y'all in the next video, bro.